Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in the city of Richmond. More specifically, I am in historic Church Hill. And today we're going to take a look at a renovated three bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home was built in 1916. And if you're familiar at all with Church Hill, we're only about, about three blocks off of Broad. Uh, this home, as you can probably tell, has vinyl siding. And back in 1916, they didn't do a whole lot of vinyl siding. Uh, down towards the end of the property, we do have a two car garage. And right here, this is kind of important. We've got a two zone heating and air system. And the reason I mention that is because often when contractors come in and do renovations on these older homes, they really, really need two zones in order to heat and cool efficiently. Um, older homes have a little bit of a challenge when it comes to uh, getting good airflow because the ceilings are tall and there could be quite a bit of difference between hot and cold between up and down stairs. So uh, that's a really good sign when we see dual zone heating and air in a, a re renovation like this. Uh, one of the first things I notice when I come in is of course the wood floors. We've got the really nice tall ceilings. This is a pretty traditional floor plan with a couple of exceptions, and I'll point those exceptions out to you as we go through. Back when this home was built, uh, they used to heat with coal, and each of those fireplaces were actually functioning coal-burning fireplaces. Uh, this is no longer functioning, but they left the nice, beautiful exposed brick there. We transition here into the formal dining room, and this is pretty typical uh, here. These large, large walls uh, they used to have pocket doors in them and you could close off each individual room. Not that much of an issue for today's lifestyle because of course open floor plans are really popular. Uh, but this is a great place here to put a nice dinette table. It's open to a nice big island with granite on top and plenty of storage here below. In our kitchen we have ceramic tile, black appliances. This is Uba Tuba. Granite. It's a real popular species of granite. Of course, the double bowl sink, the nice big 42 inch cabinets go all the way across there and a built in refrigerator. Of course, all of our appliances do convey. We cook with gas here in this home and got plenty of storage there in that island. Let's pop out back here and take a look. One thing I really love about city living is you really get to know your neighbors and it's such a diverse city. Uh, I, I really do miss getting to know all of my neighbors. Uh, when I lived in the city, we had people from all walks of life that lived nearby and you really get to know people. Now that I'm in the suburbs, it's, you know, you wave at them and you might see them at Starbucks and everybody kind of does their own thing. There's not nearly that sense of community, in my opinion, when you compare it to city life. Okay, we're gonna go on back through this hallway. I wanna point out we have a half bath right here conveniently located on the first floor. Little pedestal sink there and the throne back in the corner. Here in our utility closet, we have our heat pump. Now, I can quickly look at this unit and tell you that it's a heat pump. And if you remember from a previous video, heat pump simply means that electricity is the fuel source. Excuse me, this is not a heat pump. Electricity is the fuel source on a heat pump, but here, this is a gas line, and it either looks like this with the metal, or we see that yellow back there, that crinkly looking line. That tells me this is a gas furnace, and this unit up top here with the big tube that's often insulated uh, sits right on top, and the rest of the ductwork shows me that it has air conditioning. So I know this is a heat, uh, excuse me, a gas furnace with central air. Here on the water heater, if this were a gas water heater, we'd have an opening here and a flue. Since it has this electric line here, I know immediately that it's an electric water heater. Okay, so we heat with gas and our water is electric in this home. Okay, we're gonna go on upstairs, take a look and see what we have. One of the common rehabs that renovators do on older homes like this is they will sacrifice one of the four bedrooms and go ahead and give a walk-in closet and a full master bath. This is the hall bath, uh, but we're gonna see a master here momentarily. We've got nice ceramic tile, 
shower head is in place and plenty of light flows into that window here we've got a really good size uh, hall bath okay our first room here this is a secondary bedroom once again beautiful wood floors we've got that nice character of that exposed brick there and again the nice tall tall ceilings our closet is tucked away right there of course in the older homes they didn't do for the secondary bedrooms in this house we don't have huge closets but there's plenty of room to bring in a wardrobe if needed okay this is bedroom number two or the middle bedroom and they actually did a nice size giving us a nice closet there in this one we're going to transition back to the master bedroom but before we get there here on the left we have our laundry room and yes washer and dryer do convey you've got plenty of storage up top you can actually put in some more shelving there if needed okay we're now in our master bedroom they were nice enough to leave a little bookshelf there in the corner for us we've got plenty of light that flows in we've got a ceiling fan up above and check this out you don't often see a nice deck off of your bedroom so imagine coming out here uh, in, at nighttime and um, you can just really enjoy getting some air here in the city uh, we also have the ability to get some more light through this bedroom as well through these doors so it's a really nice nice plus there okay we're now in our master bath we've got of course double antique like vanities which are really nice but before we go there we've got a walk-in closet this is a huge huge plus on a historic home because we typically once again didn't have big closets when these homes were built people didn't have a whole lot of clothes and so they didn't need big closets like they need today okay we've got a tub there we've got a nice big tile shower that shower head is missing however if you watched any of my videos you know that my policy to provide the finest shower head available in Lowe's or Home Depot for any and all of my clients that actually use me as a buyer's agent. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. I'd be happy to help. Also, remember, we have a fabulous rent to own program for homes in the counties. Make sure you give me a call for more information on that program and I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.